Hello! I told you, I told you I would be back. I told you. And I'm back! <laughs> okay, sorry. Anyways, so today I am here. I am making hamburger on crisp eggplant slices. Uh, I didn't use beef, chuck, ground, didn't do that. Use turkey, which probably makes this look a little bit more interesting than it would with hamburger, uh, cause it's white and then I, I don't know, I just, I just assume. Now I've eaten everything, even I've eaten it together, and it's actually not that bad. It's not that bad at all. Uh, let me let me go over the instruction. No, let me go over the ingredients and the recipe real quick. So we have bacon fat or olive oil, one fourth cup minced onion, one pound chuck ground. I use turkey. Salt and pepper. One large eggplant. Flour. I forgot to put the flour on. Shoot. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna go refilm that. And then it says one can undiluted condensed vegetable soup. So I was in the store and I had this thought. Insert the clip. I would like to interject this video because it says undiluted condensed vegetable soup. And I was stuck over on Campbell's and then I turned around and I see that there's a bunch of other soups that are here. Um, but I still don't know what that necessarily means. So I literally Googled undiluted, even though I knew what it meant. I looked up condensed, knew what it meant, put it together, looked at the images, trying to come up with something. All of them came up with Campbell's. And then I turned around and there was vegetable soups behind me. None of them were condensed though. And I still ended up getting a Progresso soup, which wasn't condensed. Um, we all seem to know that I don't always know what's happening in these recipes as best as I try my hardest to. I just didn't see it. And you guys are so wonderful because then you comment down below you're like, um, I think, I think that's not what it's meant. And I appreciate that a lot. So in the comments down below, could you let me know what you think undiluted condensed vegetable soup would be? That would be great. Thank you. Uh, and then I would also like to note, it wasn't like there was a Campbell's vegetable soup. It was like beans and bacon, beef and barley vegetable soup, beef vegetable soup made with beef stock. It wasn't like just a vegetable soup. So I was very, very lost in the soup aisle of Safeway. So in a saute pan, you are going to put in one fourth cup of minced onion until translucent and sauteed, delicious. And then you're gonna put in one pound of chuck, round, or turkey meat, one pound, just the package of turkey meat. I like turkey uh, instead of beef, so that's what I decided to do. All right, then you're gonna add in your garden vegetable soup. Now, like I said earlier in the video, let me know what you think that means. But I added in this one and it tasted gosh darn good. So that's what I went. Now you're going to leave it in there with all the vegetables, scoop them all out. I left some of the liquid in because it's not condensed. And then you leave it there for 10 minutes, stirring it occasionally but letting all the juices mingle. That sounded gross. Anyways, in a pan you're going to put some butter and some floured eggplant slices. One fourth inch each pretty much, uh, salt and pepper, and then flip over when brown. I added some more butter in there, and then you're gonna go ahead and plate it. So in the book, it says, serve topped with meat mixture. So you put the eggplant down and serve it with some of the meat mixture, and then you don't have to put one on top, but I thought it just looked festive, so I decided to top it with another eggplant. Why not? More vegetables, yay. Mmm, there you have it scrumptious. Okay, so we have some eggplant and we have the ground turkey and I like both of these things so I think it's gonna be nice. I think it's gonna be a tasty. Oh, look at that. Mm. So I really like it. I like eggplant because I like that it takes on the flavor of whatever you cook slash eat it with. I like ground turkey. I eat it in tacos. I, I like vegetables as much as I say that I don't like vegetables. I like vegetables. 
So even though it's a strange one, I like it and I approve and I'm telling you right now that I think it'd be worth making if you like all those ingredients. What? Is that a Miss Semi-Sweet first? It really feels like it. I know that I've liked other recipes, but I feel like I have never said, yeah, give it a shot. Why not? What do you have to lose? Your family's respect? Just kidding. It's good. So that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Retro Recipes. I will have another recipe up on Thursday. On Thursday. That was a very loud sounding something or other. Hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, share, comment, tell people, everybody. Tell everybody. Because I'm so magical, you know? You know. I'm only kidding. Dapper Day is only like one weekend away, one weekend after Easter, which by the way, Easter's coming up. Anyways, it's one week away, two, two weeks away, and I'm so ready. If you'd like to follow me on any other form of social media, you know, or should know, maybe you don't know, the links are down below. Also, if you would go over to my Patreon and check out what Patreon is, is it supports everything on my channel from vintage style Sundays to retro recipes to everything in between. And thank you. I would just it's just awesome and I appreciate it so much. Okay, don't forget to stay scrumptious guys and I will see you here on Thursday. Oh, la, la, la.